occupied area, but we can't go further on the sled. Quiet. An abandoned camp. Whoever was here left long ago. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? You left that way out here. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Do they match the ones in that recipe book, Pico? I imagine we might find one of... Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Soma. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others, if you're curious. Norns are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Come 
Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken Build grave? Of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Nords, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Now's no time to wander off, brother. Freya's found something. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. Good. <laughs> 
Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. This is the area. <laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. I feel the Norns over here. Are you ready? Oh, nah. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. This is the place. <laughs> we need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut away through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More 
of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Fire from above! <laughs> I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. focus the sooner we find your son the sooner you'll be able to focus I just hope it works just the same thank you a fine sentiment but right on a bloody note when we're out of the cold brother <laughs> brother this way seems like a way out not a way in I concur the Norns are further up. Always the third place you look. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made on wooden guards. Delightful. Huh. 
Traitors. Ghost of Sparta. Bane of Olympus. Destroyer of fate. Crawling strike. Bringer of war. Weapon of the gods. Turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot Are we in our own minds yet? He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> Guarding that way outside. memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Do it all, and I cannot change. See, you forgot, smartest man alive. Oh. 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 
Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. A phantom! The Norns have a phantom! Of course the Norns have a phantom! <laughs> Oh! 
This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you! Babbling! Official. My boy. I can feel everything. Bowser, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Bowser, come back! Talk to me! Any way I could. Just lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree! You sought his favor. You wanted his cars. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you never gave my death until you turned on you. I know it's true. It's true. All of it. For the love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for you. An ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Thrawn? Or to Tanya? No! You! Oh, to the side of the powerful men! You! Brother, watch out! There's more of them! 
Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. 
Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Away. Never doubt it would make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. 
a common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. Let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahor. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. 
It would be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Find a gateway, return home, consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. Always a joy to work on these. And now, Freya? What can I make for you? I'll disinfect my tools. What do you need? Anything for Freya? I'll heat up the forge. Now, was there something else? I knew he'd left something behind.
warned all winter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I have it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I am no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, Sigrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place, I guess? They were not. But yes, she did. <laughs> Arguing all the while I should let my hair <laughs> Help me just the same. <laughs> Drops! 
Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. Inevitable asking of the dwarves.
Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been... What a... Unfort... The little... In... In order... I... You'll find... You... You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses... I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. <sighs> well then, what About else, Nithog? friend? You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh. We go. A thousand apologies, my friend. I did not mean to bore you. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Son, we... Enough. 
Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. I know you I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? You ready to go? See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no! This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just sentry trying to hog all the good creep. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a limb and making a fuckery of the limbs. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came from here. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? Trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorful. <laughs> Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. We 
keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing the corpse of the undermine. Classic ace here. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. It's an abandoned service tunnel. Switching arrows! Oh, nasty hit! You all right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Another oil spill. Fortuitous oil spill.
Talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off with you. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Where there's a gear like that, there's usually a chain somewhere. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fiction. Oh! <laughs> 
Well, that was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. before, haven't we, brother? Is that the reason you propose this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where you are. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Now, where have they got the third one hidden away?
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yogar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. Open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations, nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked out of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Start. Go! 
ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the floor. Folky! to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, what's your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear? Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Giant eyeballs made a nest of Looks like that wheel up there yeah. opened the oh. gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Mm. No rattling up there. Wow, 
Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lid? Coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get closer. Hang on, coming around. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser. There. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it. Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. He is dead. We gotta have a Once more. Again. other stuff.
I got the crank covered. You do the <gasps> other stuff. Oh, look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? There you go. Right on the money. Vantage point, brother. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stone, stone, stone. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam. Oh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See, dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee hot. Anyone know? But Sindri had never oh. had it. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so... Everin. 
Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No! Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me... Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Cody, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn.
It's on to the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for the moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. Speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. Uh, 
right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new arrow home. No. We got volunteers. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that one lost. Now you know I can't let you take our... Gal home without giving her a choice. We got all of here! Weapon a spot and large. What the hell? Ain't it just like old times? I need to put it more accordingly myself. what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-stabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. 
Guy dies, he's got the right to know about. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. this before
Untold children! Ooh. Put you in the trap! <laughs> scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatos Group. with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps mamia oh very well these ugly bugs maybe those grim will take him down uh no suck on this my chafer see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is.
Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to get working And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours, he's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. Careful, brother. You're covered in bygrod. Oh, 
So tell me then, what's the new weapon? A spear. One with the powers of Dropnia. Interesting. Well, come on. We can discuss it on the train. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along.
Hmm. So this drop near Spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. <laughs> this way. That gravestone. There's a key. Wait. Be ready for combat. God. Speak. Need you to get something for me. Oh. No. Would you? Mud. You're not. The wolf. I might be. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Why? Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. <laughs> a very loud horn, and I've not the faintest idea. Mimir. Not truly. No one knows where the Gallahorn originated. Odin just gained possession of it one day. Hmm. 
memory serves. We're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Dunlin's hammer shouldn't be far behind. <laughs> First time someone's told me that, I suppose. That dragon looks remarkably lifelike for a sculpture.
manner of creature is that? Dead. Someone there, please. What do you want? Well, my I feel is that my plea. You may help. We were say this once. That big guy can see the remains of us. His son is surely gone. Mm -hmm. It costs us little to make sure. Really. your chisel to finish. Now I just need to speak the word. You. One piece after all this time. Unlike Durland's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him. Oh, 
Fire! 